thunderstorms and heavy rain on Friday. A number of high school football games have been moved from Friday to Saturday. But instead of waiting the extra day, Gorham and Portland football game was moved up to tonight. Portland would score on their first possession of the game. The handoff going to Regan Buck, who goes up the middle for the 55-yard touchdown, and the Bulldogs lead 7-0. On Portland's next possession, they fool the camera and the Gorham defense. Grant Crosby, the play action pass, is going to find a wide open Aiden DeMillo for the touchdown. Crosby also ran in for a score late in the first half, and Portland stays unbeaten with the 35-8 win. In boys soccer this afternoon, Wayne Fleet hosting North Yarmouth Academy. It's Wayne Fleet awarded a penalty kick in the third minute. Samir Syed taking advantage to give the Flyers the quick 1-0 lead. Then late in the first half we go, Jacob Woodman, a nice kick from 25 yards out. It's going to sneak into the upper corner there for another Flyers goal. Wayne Fleet wins this one 2-0. Across the city, the Shepherds girls hosting Falmouth. It was scoreless eight minutes into the second half when Elise Darian breaks in and scores from the tough angle to give Falmouth the lead in that game. Less than two minutes later, Audrey Murray adds to the lead when her shot sneaks through the defenders to give the Navigators the 2-0 lead. Caden Smith would put Chevrolet on the board, but Falmouth holds on for the 2-1 win. The unbeaten Wyndham girls hosting Chevrolet. It was scoreless in the 31st minute when the Eagles take advantage of a corner kick, and Elizabeth Talbot will then knock in that loose ball to put Wyndham on board. 1-0 there. Two minutes later, Emily Talbot has her shots off the crossbar and Sarah Tallinn there to knock in the rebound for another Eagles goal. Wyndham taking the win in that game 4-0. And high school volleyball, Yarmouth hosting Scarborough. Annie Vinicota with the hard spike for Yarmouth. She gets a point in that set. Then Alana Miller with the quick return over the net. That can't be returned for another Clipper point. Madeline Strauss answers with the hard spike for Scarborough, but Yarmouth wins in four sets. This is